Welcome to a very special episode of Five Minute Fishing. We're here in Gainesville, Florida at the Bass Pro Shops. I got two $50 gift cards for my birthday from my in laws. What's up, Karen? What's up, Rick? Let's get inside and see what they got. Alright, we're back here at 5 Minute Fishing Headquarters. Let's take a look at that stuff I got from Bass Pro Shops. Now, in all honesty, I shot that footage uh, in the opening probably about a month ago. Um, I'd actually walked around the store, uh, picking up stuff and looking at it, you know, putting stuff in the cart and whatever, the stuff that I got. Uh, it didn't turn out that great. Um, the audio was terrible because of that fish tank uh, that they have going in the store. It was just all you could hear in the background. And plus, the, the camera angles were kind of not great because I was trying to film it like low-key because you're not supposed to be filming in Bass Pro Shops. They kind of frown upon that. So I decided to toss all that and we'd come back here and uh, get a good look at it up close. So let's go ahead and get into it. To start off with, I got one of these, uh, another one of these Plano Deep Stowaways with a restrictor. This is the 3700 size. Also got me one of these really big uh, extra large pro latch stowaways. It's one of these really deep ones. It's, uh, it's like three and three quarters inch, about the same size as that other uh, storage box that I did with a restrictor in it. This doesn't have the restrictor stuff in it, but I figure, oh, I don't know. I could probably uh, maybe use this to hold, hold on my split shots and bullet weights and all that. It may be like, extra extra ones that I got uh, that I haven't moved into my regular tackle box yet so that's pretty cool <clears throat> start with some basics here got some of these uh, oval split rings uh, to put on you know like hard baits like you know lipless or whatever it's to replace the the ones that just got the round uh, split rings I like the oval split rings better so got me three packs of uh, these are just little ten packs we got some zoom trick worms and colors I uh, I don't have. I didn't have any yellow or just white. I didn't have this some basic yellow or white ones. So, uh, so I figured I'd pick up some of these. Uh, these would have been really good in the early spring. Um, not so much now, I think, but uh, I'll have them for next year. Decided to pick up some more of those uh, Minnow Z and the three inch. called the right stuff this color it's pretty cool got some silver and gold flake in there sort of very natural dark natural color there it looks pretty cool sort of translucent actually from the packaging when I was just looking at it it didn't look like it was that translucent but it's kind of translucent actually pretty cool sort of a darker natural color there some gold and silver flake pretty cool color the right stuff. This is the glow color with a chartreuse tail. Got that elastic stuff, of course. <sighs> Stinking chatterbaits. Yeah, so pick up some of these chatterbaits. Uh, still looking to catch my first fish on a chatterbait. So I got a greenback shad. That's this one. This is the white chartreuse. He's got some little little flakes in there, so it's not just a solid white and chartreuse. It's got some little little gold flakes and looks like maybe some green flakes in there or something. And sexy shimmer, which is looks like a oh, it's got some like a, like a blue, almost a very like a sort of a holographic blue. This is a little bit of translucent strands here as well with some little flakes in there. So it's kind of a cool color. 
Speaking of chatter baits, maybe I'll actually catch a fish on these things instead of just losing them like I, like I did last year. A couple uh, striking red eye shads in the half ounce sizes. This is the chili crawl right here, chili crawl, and uh, a Japanese shad. This would have been good uh, pre spawn, but uh, we're way past that now, so I'll keep it around for next year. And uh, this might be good anytime or other that they're looking to chase a lipless, I guess. Japanese shad, pretty cool looking color. Got some more of these uh, jig heads from, um, from Z-Man's. Now, uh, now one, of my one of my other videos, I had the Z-Man trout eye and redfish eye. These are just a swim bait eye. Uh, a little bit different. These are the 1 8 sizes. I got this one in uh, gold, and this one's in the glow color. They're both 1 8 sizes. They're both made in the USA, which is pretty sweet. So I figured I'd try those. The trout eye and the redfish eye work really good, actually. I've been using those, and those work really well. And this is the Texas eye jig head. Uh, it's it's the one eight size. This is the what the glow? This is called the glow color. Uh, it's basically just a like a three odd EWG. It's got this little chin lock, little keeper there, and this thing is actually not even like fixed. It like kind of swivels, so so it gets a little bit more action into it. Been using these two. I uh, haven't caught anything with it, but um, they're pretty cool. You'll, I'm sure you'll see these in some upcoming videos. And the last couple things uh, that I picked up is uh, I got some more of these um, uh, cross eyes snakehead uh, snakehead swim jigs from uh, Z Man. Uh, these are the three eighths ounce. Uh, this is the citrus shad, and this is the new gill. So citrus shad and new gill. Um, that shad spawn color uh, of the same jig. Uh, I've caught a, a few really nice fish on actually um, in the past few weeks. Uh, just using like a race swimmer style uh, a trailer. Um, they're pretty awesome actually. I, I need to pick up some more of these. Um, they're really nice. I really like these. All right, well that's gonna do it. Again, special thanks to my in-laws, uh, Karen and Rick. Uh, two great people. Um, hey, love you guys. Uh, thank you, thank you, seriously for those uh, those gift cards. That uh, that's great. That's uh, that was pretty awesome. I was pleasantly surprised to receive those and uh so again thank you guys uh be sure to hit like and subscribe uh i put out at least one video a week sometimes two and until next time thanks for watching five minute fishing